right so a very good afternoon everyone so i welcome you all to this particular very important session of the day that is an update on this new drug for the treatment of the covid 19 so i am myself dr rajesh gubba i am the general medicine educator on the an academy platform so in this session i'll try to give you some new updates related to this particular 2 dg drug so until now many of you might have learned this particular 2 dg drug through various platforms but i will just give you some new updates related to this particular 2 dg drug which you might have not learned through the other platforms okay right so the topics i mean the session of this 2 dg drug i will be taking up under these particular headings how is the development of 2 dg drug has occurred what is the efficacy of 2 dg drug in this clinical trials and what exactly are the benefits of this 2 dg drug and how to take this 2 dg drug and what is the dosage of the 2 dg drug for the treatment of covid 19 and uh, another important question is does this 2 dg drug does it work on the variants of covid 19 is another important question what are the various uses of this 2 dg glucose remember it is not just used in the treatment of covid 19 or it is not just used in the treatment of the cancer right actually 2 dg drug it is not a new drug right it is a very old drug which was used previously in the treatment of cancer but not only in the treatment of cancer and as well as covid 19 it is also being used in many other clinical scenarios which i will discuss that right and what is the availability and what is the price of this particular drug i will tell you and how it reduces the oxygen consumption so why this particular 2 dg drug is being very famous because pre presently the pandemic which is going on the problem many of the patients are suffering is the oxygen availability so the advantage of this particular drug is that this particular drug will reduce the oxygen consumption within the individual so what is the mechanism by which it reduces the oxygen consumption so i will tell you in this particular session so in this session will be under the following headings now starting the first point now when did this particular drug get the approval the dgci that is DCGI sorry that is drug controller general of india has approved this particular drug on may 8 2021 so it was an emergency approval right and uh, all the trials which has to be done for this particular drug has not been completed but as an emergency basis this particular drug has been approved on may 8 8 by drug controller general of india now why is it given the name 2 deoxy d glucose why did it get this particular name let me just give you a brief idea and then continue with the remaining part of the session so this is the glucose structure right this is the glucose structure and within this glucose structure this is the first carbon this is the second carbon this is the third carbon fourth and as well as fifth carbon and sixth carbon so on the second carbon you have the hydrogen group and as well as the hydroxyl group now on this second carbon this oxygen is deleted okay so this two d stands for deleted okay so this particular oxygen is deleted on the second position it is replaced by the simple hydrogen so that is the reason why it is 2 deoxy right on the second carbon the oxygen molecule is deleted that is the reason why it is called 2 deoxy do d glucose so what do you mean by the word this particular d glucose that is dextro glucose right the word d stands for dextro glucose all right now so this is what is the name of this particular drug 2 deoxy that is on the second carbon the oxygen molecule is removed that is the reason why it is called 2 deoxy do d glucose now so when was this released this was released on may 17th that is on the last monday by our minister and uh, the health minister and as well as the minister for the army so they have released on may 17th and the first batch of the drugs like they have real released nearly around 10000 sachets 
but this particular sachets are not still available in the hospitals initially they are trying this particular molecule in the hospitals like aims and as well as drdo attached hospitals right and by the time this molecule or this particular sachets are available to the general hospitals to all the hospitals it will be by the month of june so in the month of june this particular drug will be available to all the hospitals all over the india presently the 10000 sachets which have been released are just available only in the aims hospital and as well as the drdo hospital okay next now the development of this particular drug so if you take the development of this particular drug it has been developed by inmas right what is this inmas that is institute of nuclear medicine and allied sciences this is a leading laboratory by drdo so this drdo in collaboration with dr reddy's laboratory in hyderabad they have started the development of this particular 2dg drug now but when did the trial start the inmas drdo in collaboration with ccmb the trials actually started in the month of april 2020 when we were facing the first pandemic the first wave of the pandemic during that particular time this institute in collaboration with ccmb have started the development of this particular drug and what they have observed what they have observed that this 2dg was inhibiting the viral growth effectively so this particular information was taken to the dcgi and the dcgi has granted the permission for phase 2 clinical trials in the month of may 2020 so in the month of april 2020 during the first wave of the pandemic this inmas drdo scientist they found that this particular drug was effective and they have shown some data to the dcgi where it has given the permission for phase 2 trials in the may 2020 and later on this phase 2 trials right the phase 2 trials it has been for few months that is from may to october 2020 and the phase 2 trials was conducted on 110 patients right and they found that the drug was found to be safe in covid-19 patients and it has shown the recovery was very good on taking this particular 2dg drug in covid-19 patients so this phase 2 trials was phase 2a trials was conducted in six hospitals and phase 2b trials was conducted in 11 hospitals all over the country now this phase 2 trials data was submitted to this particular dcgi and what they found by the end of the phase 2 trials what they found was that there was significant favorable trend there was difference of almost like 2.5 days difference was seen in the terms of median time to achieve the normalization of the specific vital signs like you take the oxygen saturation you take the respiratory rate you take the blood pressure you take the pulse rate so the standardization of the vital signs was almost like 2.5 days earlier than the present standard of care what the individual is taking so that was the data what they have confirmed by the end of the phase 2 trials right so they found that they this particular drug was very much efficacious then compared to that of the standard of care so with this particular information they have gone to dcgi and dcgi has permitted for phase 3 trials in november 2020 so phase 3 trials was conducted from almost december 2020 to march 21 and this phase 3 trials was conducted in 220 patients phase 2 trials were conducted in 110 patients and it is exactly double phase 3 trials was conducted in 220 patients almost around 27 covid hospitals all over the country like in delhi uttar pradesh west bengal gujarat rajasthan maharashtra andhra pradesh telangana karnataka and as well as tamil nadu so in all these areas the phase 3 trials were conducted and what was the result so these were some of the pictures which have been released by the drdo 
So this was the chamber with SARS-CoV-19 virus infection and to this particular chambers the 2DG drug was added. So you can see these particular chambers were completely free from this particular COVID-19 virus. And another image which has been released was, so this is like the SARS-CoV-19 infection where you can see the presence of the dying cells. And to this your 2DG was added. So when this particular 2DG was added, so you can see that the dying cells, the number of dying cells have been reduced upon the addition of this particular 2DG. What is the mechanism of action of 2DG? How it will kill the viruses? I will just tell you at the end of this particular session, right? It has a very beautiful mechanism of action. And let me tell you, this particular 2DG is not just used only in COVID-19. It's a old drug. It is also used in the treatment of cancer. But apart from the treatment of cancer, apart from the treatment of COVID-19, I will tell you many more uses of this particular 2DG. So because this 2DG drug is a new drug which has been released, so definitely we can expect the questions in your upcoming FMG exam or in upcoming INICT or NEET PG exam. So you should be having a thorough knowledge of this particular drug. Now, what is the efficacy? So the phase 3 trials were conducted. Phase 3 trials was conducted on almost 220 patients. Now what they have found like in certain group of patients they have given the standard of care that is your ivermectin, remdesivir, whatever it is and in another 220 patients they have given this particular 2DG. So when they gave this 2DG what they found was the individual was free from this supplemental oxygen dependency by almost 42 percent. This is a very very important point. The decrease in oxygen requirement was almost like 42 percent compared to that of 31 percent when the individual is taking the standard of care. And this is by day 3 itself. Right? This is by day 3 itself. And what the studies have shown was once the individual has been started on this particular 2DG, by almost day 3 to day 8, they found to be RT-PCR negative. Now when we are taking the standard of care, the RT-PCR is being negative of all, after almost like 15 days, after almost like 1 month. But what they found was when the patients were given this 2DG, they found that by day 3 or day 8, the RT-PCR was negative. So this was a very important advantage of this 2DG drug and it was causing the relief from the oxygen therapy. So the present pandemic, the greatest difficulty what we are facing is the oxygen deficiency and this 2DG drug was reducing the oxygen requirement within the patient. How it will reduce the oxygen requirement? What is the mechanism of action? I will tell you in the later part of the session, right? So it has a very beautiful mechanism of action. How it will reduce the oxygen requirement? I will tell you in the later part of the session, okay? Next. Now, if you take the elderly individuals, can we give this particular drug in elderly individuals above 65 years? Yes. The clinical trials were also conducted on patients aged more than 65. And they found that the drug was efficacious even in individuals more than 65 years. This is another very important point regarding this 2DG drug. Now, what are the benefits? Just now we have discussed. What is that? The individual had a very faster recovery. Like when we are seeing this particular remdesivir or ivermectin, we are seeing that almost like 7 to 14 days the individual requires for the recovery. But the advantage of this 2DG drug is that within 3 days, the RT-PCR was negative. To the maximum of within 8 days, the RT-PCR was negative. So there was a faster recovery rate with this 2DG drug in hospitalized patients. And another important advantage of this 2DG drug is it reduces the supplemental oxygen dependency. And how it will reduce the oxygen dependency? I will just tell you the mechanism of action. And another important beauty of this particular drug is it has selective accumulation 
in virus infected cells only it will not go and get accumulated in all the cells of our body that is another important point related to this 2 dg it accumulates in the virus infected cells and prevents the virus growth by stopping the viral synthesis and energy production this entire mechanism of action i will tell you in the later part of the session within few minutes it has a very beautiful mechanism of action and you will definitely appreciate that okay now so as i have said you this particular point within 3 to 8 days the rt pcr negative was seen when the individuals was administered with this 2 dg drug right yes kapil i will tell you the price and all i will tell you now how to take this particular 2 dg drug and what is the dosage of this 2 dg drug in covid 19 patients right in covid 19 patients so this particular drug is available in powder form right and each particular sachet it contains 2.34 grams of 2 deoxy d glucose so this powder it has to be mixed in water and the individual has to consume this particular 2 dg drug now what is the dosage in covid 19 patients twice daily for 5 to 7 days this is the dosage of the 2 dg drug one sachet in the morning one sachet in the evening mixed with water and consume it for 5 to 7 days there was a very good result regarding the recovery and as well as regarding the requirement of oxygen but what the drdo has said is because this is the drug which we are introducing newly please don't take it on outpatient department okay so just get admitted in the hospital and in the surveillance of the healthcare individuals take this particular drug for few days right why because this is a new drug we don't know what exactly are the complete adverse effects and all that is the reason why this drug has to be administered under the surveillance of the healthcare individuals okay right now you can start from day 1 right yes kapil this particular drug can be started on day 1 i will tell you yes sital karki what are the side effects like how about diabetic patients i will tell you everything about this particular side effects also just hold on for few minutes i will complete the entire session and then i will take up your doubts okay right now the another important question is will this 2 dg 2 dg drug does it work on the variants of coronavirus yes what this director of institute of nuclear medicine and allied sciences dr anil mishra has explained that it is also effective in all the variants of the coronavirus that is a very very important information to this particular the 2 dg drug now coming to the availability and as well as pricing pricing let me tell you it is not still available in the market in all over the places in india the 10000 sachets the first batch of drugs which has been released are just only available in the hospitals like aims and as well as drdo attached hospitals this particular drug will be available in the private hospitals all over the india in the month of june and what is the price of this particular drug still the price of the drug has not been fixed so the final price of this 2 dg will be determined by the drdo partner dr reddy's laboratory which is manufacturing this particular medicine and it will be priced by keeping the affordability in the mind that is what the ceo of the dr reddy's laboratory has announced that okay so this particular drug the 10000 sachets which has been released are just available only in the aims armed force hospitals drdo hospitals and it will be available to other hospitals in the month of june so please remember that that is a very very important point it is not available now in all the hospitals in india it is available only in aims armed forces hospitals and as well as the drdo hospitals and very very important take home message that this 2 dg drug 
it is not substitute for other medicines it is just only an add on right it is just only an add on and until now what has been advised yes prabhakar and as well as maria and mona what has been advised by drdo is that it is given in moderate to severe cases right it has been given in moderate to severe cases where there was oxygen requirement see the beauty of this particular drug is to reduce the oxygen requirement so in moderate to severe cases the oxygen requirement was there so and this particular drug will reduce the oxygen requirement and it will also improve the recovery rate right but the data is still not available in the mild cases the data whatever we have is that it is mainly for moderate to severe cases now what is the uses of this particular 2 dg drug see most of you right what does you know the uses of this particular drug you know that it is given for the treatment of covid 19 you know that it is an anti cancer drug now can anyone tell me what are the other uses of this 2 dg drug apart from covid 19 and anti cancer treatment does anyone know what are the other uses of this particular 2 dg drug any one of you any one of you what are the other uses of this 2 dg drug apart from this covid 19 and anti cancer treatment and this will be a very important take home message for you and this is the new thing which i am trying to teach you in this particular session that uses of 2 dg apart from covid 19 and anti cancer treatment now can anyone tell me okay i'll just give you a clue here can anyone tell me what is the type of diet what you need to give in refractory epilepsy yes what is the diet what we give in refractory epilepsy any one of you yes i want a quick answer right so in the treatment of refractory epilepsy the diet what has been advised is the ketogenic diet right the diet what has been advised is the ketogenic diet in the treatment of refractory epilepsy now in what way this particular 2 dg drug is useful so there was an article about the usage of this 2 dg drug in the treatment of refractory epilepsy so please remember this 2 dg drug it mimics for the ketogenic diet right it mimics for the ketogenic diet and that is how this 2 dg drug it is useful in the treatment of refractory epilepsy right treatment of refractory epilepsy okay so this is a new data what you will be carrying by the end of this session the another important now in what way in what way this 2 dg works in the treatment of the refractory epilepsy what this 2 dg will do is it increases the expression of brain derived neurotropic factor it also increases the expression of the nerve growth factor it also increases the expression of the arc protein and it also increases the expression of basic fibroblast growth factor so in this way this 2 dg drug is used in the treatment of epilepsy as well refractory epilepsy right next and anti cancer treatment already i have discussed what is the mechanism in the anti cancer treatment within another few minutes i will explain you that now now in the anti cancer treatment what is the dosage of this 2 dg it is around 63 mg per kg per day now what are the adverse effects of this drug and what is the disadvantage of this particular drug now the adverse effect of this particular drug what has been found was 
the cardiac side effects. When the drug was taken in higher doses, that was causing prolongation of the QT interval. And when there is prolongation of the QT interval, the individual will land up in torsades de pointis, which is nothing but polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. So now what is that you have to learn about the side effect of this particular drug now? When this particular drug is used in excessive dose, it can cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. That is by causing the prolongation of the QT interval. Right. And that was seen in almost 66 percentage of cases. That was the side effect of this 2DG drug. Now, what is the other use of this 2DG drug? One, I have said you COVID-19. Second, I have said you anti-cancer treatment. Third, I have said you refractory epilepsy. And fourth important use, usage is FDG PET scan. That is fluorodeoxyglucose PET scan. So, the 2DG has been used as a targeted optimal imaging agent for fluorescent in vivo imaging. So, for PET scan, this FDG, if it is being added, it has been used as the targeted optimal imaging agent. So, these are the four uses of this 2DG, COVID-19, anti-cancer treatment, refractory epilepsy and as well as for the PET scan that is fluorodeoxyglucose PET scan, FDG PET scan. Now, what is the mechanism of action of this particular drug, right? We have come to the last part of and yes, another important adverse effect, right? And yes, so Arbor Vite and as well as uh, some more another person was asking about the glucose. Okay, so the another important adverse effect is this will also cause hyperglycemia. Right, this was also causing hyperglycemia. See, now you have to take the advantage and disadvantage of this particular scenario. When it is causing hyperglycemia, but you have to definitely give 2DG to that particular COVID-19 patient. So COVID-19 patient with the diabetes mellitus. Yes, definitely this 2DG, when it is given in higher doses, it can cause hyperglycemia. What you have to do in such case, you have to increase the dosage of your insulin. Right, you have to increase the dosage of your insulin and try to see that the blood glucose levels come under the control. That is one way of approach what you can do. Because many a times we are giving steroids to the patient and even your steroids also will increase the blood glucose. So in such case like what we are doing, we are trying to increase the dosage of the insulin and we are trying to control the blood glucose levels. So that is one of the way what you can do in a diabetic patients. All right. Next, coming to the mechanism of action of this particular, the 2DG, right. Mechanism of action is very important because until now, what, what did I tell you? The 2DG in COVID-19 patients, it reduces the oxygen requirement. How it reduces the oxygen requirement? Now I will tell you. In phase 3 trials, it has been found that 42% decrease in the oxygen requirement then compared to that of the standard of care. How it is reducing the oxygen requirement? I will tell you that. And how it will kill the cancer cells? How it is used in the treatment of COVID-19? I will tell you all that now. So what we have seen, it will inhibit the virus growth. That is the broad terminology what we are using. But how it will inhibit the virus growth, that is what I will tell you now. So, what do you understand by the word 2-deoxyglucose? That I have already said you in the beginning of the session itself. See, this is your first carbon of the glucose and this is the second carbon of the glucose. 2-deoxy, right, 2-deoxy, D-glucose. 2-deoxy, that means the oxygen molecule, it has been deleted. Right, the oxygen molecule, it is being deleted on the second carbon. The hydroxyl group, it will be replaced. Then it becomes 2-deoxy. That is what the meaning of the term 2-D-D-glucose. Right, and what does this second D stands for? That is dextroposition of your hydroxyl group. Right, dextroposition of this particular hydroxyl group. Okay, now let me discuss in detail about the mechanism of action of this drug. Everyone knows this particular pathway is the glycolysis pathway, right? So in glycolysis, initially the energy is utilized and later the energy is released, 
right later the energy is released so the glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate in the presence of exokinase and this glucose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate in the presence of phosphoglucoisomerase these are the initial steps of your glycolysis and here the glucose is converted into pyruvate so there will be atp production right there will be atp production all right so initially the atp are utilized and later the atp are released so by your glycolysis pathway what is being produced to the cell energy is produced to the cell right energy is produced to the cell now in case of the 2 deoxy glucose what happens let me tell you so in the place so what you are doing now to this particular cell containing the virus you are giving the 2 dg right you are giving 2 dg now what will happen so now this is your 2d glucose this 2d glucose in the presence of enzyme hexokinase it is converted into 2d glucose 6 phosphate right 2d glucose 6 phosphate that's all over now this 2d glucose will further does not undergo metabolism right will further does not undergo metabolism why why because this 2d glucose 6 phosphate whatever is produced that will go and inhibit the hexokinase enzyme right that will go and inhibit that particular hexokinase enzyme so when this hexokinase enzyme is inhibited further glycolysis of this 2d glucose will not occur now when can the cell get the energy only when the 2d when the glucose is converted into pyruvate that is the point when the atp is released but here what is happening the 2d glucose it is converted into 2d6 2d glucose 6 phosphate and this 2d glucose 6 phosphate will inhibit this hexokinase enzyme and further process of the glycolysis does not occur and thereby energy production is not there this particular principle is used in the treatment of the covid-19 infection so whenever you the individual takes this 2d glucose the 2d glucose will go and get accumulated in the cell where you have the virus particle right where you have the virus particle now this virus particle will consume this 2 dg glucose right this 2 dg glucose and once the virus particle consume this particular 2 dg glucose what will happen the glycolysis does not occur and thereby the viral particles and as well as the cell containing this particular viral particles will further does not undergo proliferation and thereby it will kill the virus so now what is your 2 dg doing your 2 dg is reducing this glycolysis see for the glycolysis to occur right for glycolysis to occur there is oxygen requirement right glycolysis is a aerobic pathway now if at all if the glycolysis has to occur oxygen should be there if oxygen is not there then the glycolysis will not occur now what is your your 2 dg doing 2 dg is seeing that this glycolysis is not occurring so when glycolysis does not occur oxygen consumption for the glycolysis pathway will not be there and this oxygen which is not consumed by the glycolysis pathway will be utilized for the energy production from other sources that is from the fats or from the proteins so in that way your 2 dg glucose is reducing the oxygen requirement so in your phase 3 trials what has been found is the 2 dg was reducing the oxygen requirement by almost 43% why is that this is the reason this particular 2 dg drug will inhibit the glycolysis pathway within the virus 
and within the cell where the virus is present and thereby it will prevent the virus growth and it will kill the cell. So that is about the mechanism of action of this particular uh, 2DG glucose and the beauty of this particular drug is that it selectively goes and gets incorporated where the virus is present. That is the beauty of this particular 2DG glucose. So to summarize this particular 2DG, this is absolutely a brand new drug for COVID-19 treatment, not for the market. The 2DG is already available for the treatment of the cancer patients, right? And it is also used in the treatment of refractory epilepsy and it is also used for FDG PET scan. And what is the dosage? Two sachets per day for five to seven days. <coughs> And RT-PCR will be negative within 3 to 8 days. And presently, the drug is available only in the hospitals like Ames, Armored Forces Hospitals and as well as in the DRDO connected hospitals. And this particular drug will be available in the market by the month of June. And the cost of the drug is not yet known. And the adverse effect of this particular drug is that when it is taken in higher doses, it can cost the torsades D point is and another important point is that this particular drug in it will cause hyperglycemia because it's a glucose right it's a glucose it can cause hyperglycemia and how to treat in diabetic patients then if it is definitely required you have to increase the dosage of the insulin and try to control the blood glucose levels we don't have any other option so presently this drug is not a substitute it is just and add on to the present existing therapy okay so this is what is the information related to your 2dg right let me take up some questions yes arbovite that is what i was telling you in diabetic patients you have to take risk and benefit and then you have to supplement this 2dg you have to increase the dosage of insulin right yeah, yes, Arbovite, uh, phase 3 trials, yes, as you have said, it is correct. Phase 3 trials has to be conducted of up to minimum of, yeah, up to minimum of the 1000 people, the phase 3 trials. Then only you can tell the efficacy is good. But the only thing is, the uh, DCGI as an emergency basis, it has approved this particular drug. Okay. Yes, Gupta, definitely it can increase the risk of mucormycosis, right? But when you increase the dosage of insulin, if you can control the blood glucose, then the chance of mucormycosis can be reduced, right? But what you are saying is correct. But if you don't control the blood glucose levels by giving insulin, then there can be increase of risk of the mucormycosis. Okay, right. No, uh, Sital Karki, when you give insulin, it does not decrease the efficacy of your 2DG, right? It has no interaction with your 2DG, okay? Because this will go and selectively gets accumulated in the viral impregnated cells, okay? Yes, Sital Karki, see, if the, if the patient is not taking insulin for the blood glucose control and you have to monitor the blood glucose, right while giving this particular 2dg drug and definitely yes if the blood glucose levels are going uncontrollably high then you have to give the insulin to this particular patient we don't have any other option right yes uh, yes arbovite first 10000 doses used in aims and as well as other hospitals what is the outcome see it was released on may 17th right and the drug was started using after one week of release still the Ames hospital and as well as other hospitals did not release any data about the usage of that particular 10,000 doses we have to wait and see what will be the data of that particular usage of 10,000 doses okay Now, Suhas, what has been found by the scientists of the DRDO is that it will go and get deposited in the cells where the virus is there. It will not affect 
the cells like mucosa and as well as the central nervous system okay it does not affect yes saujanya you can take oral hypoglycemic agents while on covid 19 therapy you can comfortably take yes sital karki this 2 dg has been recently released the aims they are now seeing the efficacy of this particular drug by using the 10000 sachets which has been released as a first batch after the usage of this drug then they may add this particular 2 dg drug in the guidelines but still it is in the trials on the in the market that is in the aims hospital so once the data is completely clear then the aims will come up with the new guidelines regarding this particular 2 dg drug so we have to wait and see the yeah, mechanism of action in the and mechanism of action in anti cancer is also same yes pankaj rai even in the yes so even in the anti cancer treatment also the mechanism of action is same what is that that is what is this 2 dg 2 deoxy glucose is not getting converted right this 2 deoxy glucose is not getting converted into pyruvate and even for the growth of the cancer cells they require oxygen they require atp energy and if energy is not being provided by glycolysis pathway the cancer cell will not multiply the cancer cell will die that is the mechanism of action in even as a part of the anti cancer treatment as well okay yes price kumar that is what i have said you right it is given in the age group more than 18 years and the dosage is two sachets per day for 5 to 7 days that is what is the uh, dosage of this particular 2 dg yes r gupta alpha glucosidase inhibitors what they will do alpha glucosidase inhibitors they will inhibit the conversion of the complex polysaccharide to monosaccharide glucose that is what is the mechanism of action of the alpha glucosidase inhibitors right and this particular 2 dg drug does not affect the usage of this alpha glucosidase inhibitors the mechanism of action of the alpha glucosidase inhibitor is polysaccharide is converted into monosaccharide that is glucose and glucose is absorbed into this into the body ac across the intestine that is what the alpha glucosidase enzyme does and when you give alpha glucosidase inhibitors polysaccharide is not converted into monosaccharide and polysaccharide is excreted out that does not the affect the the 2 dg will not affect the efficacy of your alpha glucosidase inhibitors okay yes prabhakar it selectively for virus infected cells that is what is the data by the drdo scientists glycolysis is not yes pankaj rai glycolysis is not an anaerobic pathway glycolysis is an aerobic pathway right it is not an anaerobic pathway ct value of 30 it is not very risky saujanya it is like mild case the viral load is very less if the ct value is 30 yes ramakrishna i have said you this what is that i have said you that if the dosage of the drug is around 63 mg per kg per day then in almost 66 percentage of individuals there was prolonged qt interval right there was prolonged qt interval okay nay maria khan it is not the sole drug for covid 19 right it is the add on drug to the existing therapy right it is an add on drug to the existing therapy it is not the sole drug and the disadvantages of this particular drug is it can cause hyperglycemia and the other thing is when it is taken in higher doses it can cause prolongation of the qt interval okay yes sital karki so far only these side effects hyperglycemia and as well as, as, well as torsades d point is yes prabhakar it is not that this particular drug has to be taken in empty mouth sorry empty stomach so this can be taken even after taking a morning breakfast and as well as evening dinner
right yes uh, 37 post covid 19 if oxygen is still low then it is not covid you have to search for the alternative etiology for hypoxia because once the individual has been recovered from covid the oxygen level should be normal but if the individual is still having hypoxia that means it is not secondary to your covid infection it is there is some another alternative etiology causing hypoxia that you have to search for okay right sunil kumar uh, as of now there is no contraindications to this particular drug except for those individuals who are having severe hyperglycemia uncontrolled sugars you cannot give this particular drug and those individuals who have tendency of this uh, torsade d pointers you cannot give this particular drug right so i hope like i have given the adequate information to this uh, regarding this 2 dg drug so with this i will wind up this session right and i'll come up again live right i'll come up again live with new updates related to this particular drug 2 dg once your aims hospital has released the new guidelines after the usage of the 10000 sachets which have been released in the first batch okay right so thank you very much and see you in the upcoming sessions yeah special classes i will be starting in the next week couple so either from tuesday so most probably from tuesday or wednesday i will be starting with the special classes right yeah what is the reason for post covid cough maria khan it is because of the hyper reactivity of the airways still in the post covid infection there can be hyper reactivity of the airways so that can cause the post covid cough right so with this i will wind up this session and see you in the upcoming sessions thank you very much